So, you are a YouTuber, a YouTube creator who lives and works outside the US. I haven't seen many videos about this. You've probably seen all the warning signs saying you've got to fill in your tax details. You've got to declare yourself to the IRS. <laughs> The sun has come out just at this exact moment just to emphasize I'm not I'm not an accountant or a tax advisor I just wanted to make a video showing you the process that you might face when filling in your US tax information into Google AdSense for your YouTube channel I'm only going to show you some of the questions that come up just so you can prepare and get ready to fill it in yourself. In the description I'll put a help article and a help video as well that YouTube have issued. All I hope is that seeing what's ahead is useful to you but I'm very aware that if you get this wrong you could lose quite a lot of money. The place that I'm using to go through all of this is this YouTube help article and there are step-by-step -step instructions here. So we're going to hit sign in for my AdSense account. This is what my Google AdSense dashboard looks like. The next thing we need to do is to click on this menu in the top left-hand corner and go down to payments. You can see I've already got a nice friendly red bar. <laughs> it's always a good sign, isn't it? When your account has a big red banner. Now I could click on that button now, that would take me straight there, but I'm going to show you the way just in case you don't have that banner. We're going to go down to settings and click on manage settings. And then on this page, there's a little pen icon next to the words United States tax info. So I'll click on that and then click on manage tax info. That takes you to this page, which only has one entry at the time that I'm doing this. Who knows, this might be populated by more countries in the future, but it's labeled United States Tax Info, and we will click on this button here, Add Tax Info. Now I've had to reconfirm my Google login. The first question is, what type of accounts do you have? Individual or an entity or non-individual? The next question down is, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? The final question on this page is select your W-8 tax form type. So that's if you are an individual or a business entity. You can drink your weak apple drink now or save it for later. <laughs> To tax identity, make sure this information is exactly the same as on your tax documents and that the form is signed by an authorised representative of this legal entity. Now on the individual tax form, it asks for your taxpayer identification number. Seek some advice. Then you have to put in your permanent home address. I, <laughs> this is going to be fun for all of those uh, vloggers from Vans. Then it asks you this question under tax treaty. Are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? Again, I'm sorry this is so boring, but you've got to seek your own advice. I can't help you with this. The next section is document preview, where AdSense will show you a preview of how your tax document will look before it's issued. And then the next uh, friendly fun field section is certification. Basically it's a, a signed declaration where you get to sign the form electronically. And then the final section is activities and services performed in US and affidavit, where you're asked if you've performed any activities and services for Google within the US. And then hit submit. And now you get the swirling loading. <laughs> wheel of doom now obviously i'd love to show you all my personal details <laughs> but i've blurred them out just to say that you are told instantly whether or not it has been approved or not so that's good and if you need to change any details there's a submit new form button so you can change if your circumstances change or if you see that there are any errors I can only hope that showing you the questions that come up help you prepare for filling in your own form with your own correct details. But good luck, us non-US YouTube creators. So if I can continue to, to help you by, by showing you what's ahead, then why not click the subscribe button? It's on screen now. And thanks for coming along this journey with me.